Brett Pontecorvo here at MainStageToAbleton.com. If you've been playing in any type of a live situation, chances are you've had to set up a keyboard split, and maybe you're very comfortable doing that in MainStage. MainStage makes it really easy, but today we're going to take a look at how to recreate that feature inside Ableton Live. All right, so here we are inside of MainStage, and you'll see basically what we have set up here is a keyboard split. So it's a super common thing for keyboard players to need to be able to do is play more than one sound at a time, and we don't always want them to overlap. So I've got this um, pad rocking here, and I've got this lead rocking on the other side here. Um, and we can accomplish all of this from the layer editor by dragging our sounds. And now if you've just switched over to Ableton Live, you might be wondering how to recreate this function. Um, and the answer is we can recreate this function using an instrument rack. So we're going to head over into Ableton Live and take a look at how to do that now. Here we are inside Ableton Live, and our goal today is to create a simple keyboard split the same way MainStage would. And we're going to do that utilizing Ableton's instrument rack. So step one is going to be to load an instrument rack. So we'll navigate over here to categories, select instruments, and select instrument rack and drag that onto a default MIDI channel. Um, we're going to want to expand this so we can see what we're working with. So we'll do that by selecting the show hide chain list. Um, an instrument rack is essentially a MIDI filter, and it's going to allow certain things to pass through and other things not to pass through, depending on how you set it up. Step two, load your instrument sounds. So I'm going to start with one sound. I'm going to start with this Juno pad with pulse. Now when I drop that in, you see it automatically creates this green line for me. And this green line is called a chain. So anywhere that this chain covers, sound is going to pass through, and anywhere that it does not cover, sound won't pass through. So here I am playing a C3, and you're hearing sound. Um, if I adjust this chain to be below C3, I no longer have sound. So step three is adjust your chain to the appropriate spot on your keyboard. For this sound, my highest note that I need is an F sharp. So I'm gonna move this all the way down to that F sharp. Now I'm gonna load in my second sound, which is another Juno sound, but it is a lead sound. And you'll notice that it also automatically creates a chain that covers the whole range, but we don't want it to cover the whole range. So we're going to adjust the range of this chain as well. And there you have it. We've created a super simple keyboard split sound. Transitioning to Ableton can be intimidating. And that's why I put together a free ebook for you called the Fast Track Patchless Guide that's going to help you get started out on the right foot. So head over to our website at mainstagetoableton.com forward slash go to get your free copy today. And to stay up to date with all of our latest posts, be sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel.